This is my home. Get out now. No, this is not your house. Now, what's your name? Knock, knock. Very well. Who's there? Bill. 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 Bill who? My name is Bill Wilkins, and I'm 72 years old. What do you make of that voice? He sounds confused. Is he senile? The voice on this tape is coming from an 11-year-old girl. The family's reached out to the church for help? Yes, but truthfully, we've been reluctant to get involved. The case has turned into a media circus over there. They're calling it England's Amityville. Great. You're afraid it's a hoax? Well, the church's ability to help people depends on its reputation. So what do you want us to do? We'd like you to fly to London for three days to act as our unofficial eyes and ears. Now, you don't have to do anything. If it is a hoax, you just turn around and leave. But if it's not, then there is a family in London that desperately needs our help. Well, thank you for your faith in us. All right, well, just let me know. OK. I told him we'd talk about it. Nothing to talk about. Honey, you heard him. He, they don't want us to get involved. Just observe and report back. There have always been cases we've turned down. There has never been a family that we refused to help. I had a vision in Amityville. It was the same one I had seven years ago. I had a premonition of your death. <laughs> That's why you locked yourself away for eight days? You saw my death? You've seen it, too. The demon in your painting is real. We have both seen the same inhuman spirit. It's a warning. If we keep doing this, you're going to die. Your visions are a gift from God. And if God is showing you my death, then he's doing it for a reason. Maybe you're meant to prevent it from happening. Come on. We don't run from fights. If we go, if we do this, you have to promise me that we're just there to observe. If anything turns out dangerous in any way, we're going to tell the church and we're going to get out. Promise me. Promise me, Ed. I promise.